This will be a short tutorial on the undulations that we use in dance flow yoga. If your knees are sensitive, grab a blanket or a mat and place it on the ground for a little support and then come down to the floor. Join me in a child's pose. Send your knees a little wide. Let your big toes touch and then start to crawl your fingertips forward. Your hips are moving back towards your heels. Arms will extend. Perhaps your forehead touches down for a moment. See if you can crawl your fingertips just a tiny bit more forward. And now press your finger pads into the ground. Let your elbows lift. Let your neck be long and gaze forward. As you're here, engage the low belly. Send your tailbone to the wall behind you. You may lift a little away from your heels, curl the tailbone under, and then send a little ripple up the spine, getting broad through the upper back and then extending through the neck. With your exhale, go ahead and sink in. Let's put that with breath. With an inhale, curl the tailbone under. Start to ripple through the spine, elongate through the neck, and then sink in as you exhale. A few more times. Inhaling. Exhale as you sink in. Again, inhale, curl the tailbone under. Think about taking the back of the heart to the wall in front of you. And then elongate through the neck, sinking in. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And now press your palms into the ground. Keep your big toes connected. Start to lift your hips away from your heels. Belly draws in. We'll flow forward and just come into a straight arm. Seal pose. And then you can soften the elbows a little. Let your heart press through. And then send your hips back. And now inhale. Flow forward. Bring your knees a little more narrow, knees in alignment with your hips, wrists in alignment with your shoulders, but palms slightly forward of shoulders. We'll use cow and cat to create an undulation with an inhale. So we're going to do opposite breath to what you might normally do in your cow and cat. With your inhale, draw the navel to the spine, tuck your chin, round the upper back. Shoulders move over the wrists. As you exhale, let the belly dip down. The hips can get high. The arms are still straight. And then sink back toward your heels. Inhale. We're flowing forward rounded. Exhale, ripple through the spine and sink back toward your heels. Continue like that for a few more rounds. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, flow back, finding movement through the spine. Again, inhale, flow forward. Exhale as you sink back. Last one. Inhale, flow forward. Exhale, sink back. Flow forward, inhale, rounded, stay, and then let the ripples happen here. So there can be a little movement forward and back. Sending a ripple from hips to heart. Again, from hips to heart. One more time. And then sink back. This time as we flow forward, we'll come forward rounded. Take an inhale. And then tuck your toes, float the knees off the ground, and we'll hang out in our plank. Strong legs, straight arms, broad collarbones, long neck. See if you can access that low belly, curl the tailbone, and send a ripple. Take it up and back, find downward facing dog. Take any movement you need here. Press your heels into the ground. Swivel your hips side to side. 
If you aren't already warm, do what you need. And then join me here with your feet hips distance apart, tucking the chin. Take an inhale, lift your heels, curl the tailbone under. Ripple, long neck, and then let's bend the knees and crumple back to a very squatty down dog. Gaze back between your toes, and once again, we'll inhale, ripple it forward, find your plank, exhale, find your very squatty down dog, again, inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's come into down dog. Keep your heels lifted and let's just find a little ripple here. Heels might move. Hips might lift. And then let's flow this forward. Take it all the way to upward facing dog, keeping the arms very straight and strong. Heels lift, curl the tailbone, ripple through, press the ground away, heart opens, shoulders down, gazes up. With your exhale, belly in, hips high, back to down dog. Again, inhale, ripple forward, arms are straight, you're resisting the ground the whole time. Open the chest and then take it back. We'll do two more. Take one more. And then take it back. And let's bring the knees to the ground. Come down to the belly and come on to the forearms. Let's work toward forearm planks. Elbows in alignment with your shoulders, fingers spread wide, neck is long. Tuck your toes, pick the hips up, come into a really nice, strong forearm plank. Little ripples here. Curl the tailbone under, puff up the back of the heart, and then roll it through. And then release back down. Slide your hands back. We'll use a little cobra to roll into a down dog and ripple forward to plank again. With your inhale, peel the heart open, shoulders back. Exhale, chin toward the ground. Two more and then we'll move along. Inhale. Exhale, chin to the ground. Inhale. And exhale, chin to the ground. Turning it into a little ripple cycle. Take an inhale, peel your heart open. As you exhale, tuck your toes. Send your hips back towards your heels as though you're gonna come into that little squatty down dog and then ripple it forward, inhaling. Exhale, lower to your belly. Keep the toes tucked this time. Inhale, peel the heart up. Send your hips back. And ripple forward, inhaling. Exhale, lower. Inhale, peel the heart up. Exhale, back to a squatty dog. Inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, to the belly. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, peel up. Exhale, squatty dog. Inhale, ripple forward. Exhale, to the belly. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, to the belly. Let's take a little stretch for the chest and shoulders. Open the arms out wide. Walk your right fingertips in. Peel the right leg up. Peel open. Right knee can point to the sky. Take a couple of breaths here.
elegantly belly flop. Extend the right arm out, walk the left fingertips in, peel up and open. And then once again, back to your belly. Walk the hands in, press yourself back. Return to your child's pose. And then you can move through the whole sequence again, if you like, starting with those ripples in child's pose, moving into uh, your planks and down dogs, maybe up dogs. The ripple that we're using in the spine, it's a hip to chest ripple. So if it isn't totally making sense, come out of it and do this short practice before you get going again. Stand with your feet a comfortable distance apart, soften into the knees, and then imagine someone is behind you pressing your knees forward, then your hips forward, your rib cage, and your chest. Draw the weight back again, soften in, knees, hips, chest, try to stay relaxed in the glutes, soften in again, knees, hips, chest. So think of it as a little press and roll forward and up. Knees, hips, chest, knees, hips, chest, knees, hips, chest. You can take the knees out of it, let it be hips to chest. Glutes stay relaxed, hips to chest. You can bring your hands into your back pockets if you need them to get out of the way. Sometimes they wanna do everything for you. Hip to chest, roll hip to chest, hip to chest, and hinge forward. Keep a bend in your knees, just dangle over your legs. And then inhale, find a halfway lift. Keep some softness in your knees. And one last thing that I use undulations for in dance flow yoga is our halfway lift in a vinyasa. I'll start with a little softness in the knees, some length in the spine, and then once again, curl the tailbone under. Take the back of the heart to the wall in front, and then elongate through the neck. Exhale to fold. Inhaling, let it ripple out. If you're a little more open in the backs of your legs, you can always straighten through the legs. Inhale. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, ripple. Exhale as you fold. One more time. Inhale, ripple. Exhale as you fold. Press into your feet. Slowly roll all the way up to stand. Knees, hips, chest. And we're done. Thank you all.